Okay, today I'm going to wash my hair and do some twists. Susie, 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 Susie. Product reviews coming to you. Ow! I'm on my way to the store. Got to get some groceries, so I won't be in there long because I'm not a shopaholic in grocery stores. I'm a shopaholic in uh, department stores. It's a difference. I uh, also wanted to come on and let you guys know that I will be doing a hair video. I took my hair down finally, and uh, I'm going to wash it. I'm going to show you my kind of uh, semi-wash routine video uh, ahead of the next review. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait. Okay, I finally made it back from the store, and uh, I spent $113.84. I don't know what I bought, but I gotta, I'm gotta. i trying to go over my receipt because something ain't right here. Let me see. Something ain't right. Lipton tea was six seventy six seventy eight. Damn. Sprite was nine ninety six. Bath tissue was seven eighty eight. Aquafina was seven forty eight. Dang, what happened? I bought one of those. Oh, I bought a chicken salad salad. Chicken salad salad six dollars. Rotisserie chicken. That's the pre made chickens they make. Was seven dollars. Man, I got a. Oh, y'all, I bought a bag of Snickers. How did that get in my... I swear I didn't put them snicker bars in my basket. Somebody must have put it in my basket. But it wasn't me. What I went to the store for was actually my aloe vera plant. Remember, I'm going to do my uh, my uh, pre-wash routine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this half. Cut about half of it. Well, I'm going to cut this part of it because there's not too much aloe vera in here. But I'll probably use about this much from here to here. And then I'll uh, rub that on my scalp and uh, mostly the scalp, a little bit on some of the hand, and I'll massage it in and I'll put a plastic bag on my head for maybe uh, 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna wash my hair in regular shampoo. I'm not a special shampoo type person. And then uh, once I wash it, I separate it into some chunky twists and I'll use the rest of this plant and I'll massage it into the scalp again. And then I'm gonna make uh, not mini twists, but like the neck size. I don't want the mini, mini twists, but I'll do the neck size twist. And then I'll put that hair color, because I'm mostly gray. And I've been gray for a while. Uh, since I was 17, I discovered my first gray hair. And that's when I thought I had that disease where, you know how you get old, uh, the kids have it, and they, they the little children, and they, they look like they're 70 or 80 years old. I actually thought I had that, y'all. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start my pre-wash uh, routine. I uh, I have my uh, aloe vera uh, plant with the knife. I'm gonna cut it with. I have my water bottle. I use water to spray. Just regular water bottles. Not. This is not what's in there. This is just a water bottle. My gloves. I use gloves because I don't want my nails to get soft and break. So I don't. I don't go and get my nails done. So I don't have no hardener or anything. So they break real easily. So I use the plastic gloves. And then I have the uh, plastic bag is what I put over it to, after I finish with the aloe vera uh, plant, I put the plastic bag over my head so that uh, it can sit for 30 minutes before I wash. Okay, now I'm gonna cut this aloe vera plant. So normally I just cut off this, this uh, can y'all see this? Sorry, I'm gonna cut off this end right here because there's probably not too much in, in that. I'll use that later. And then all I do is just slice it in little bitty slices, see? Just some little bitty slices. Slice, slice, and slice, okay? Now I end up with these four pieces right here. That's it, okay? This is what I'm gonna use. Then I'm gonna slice the ends off. So when I get done, and I slice it in the middle, after I slice the little prickly stuff off, I slice it in the middle, and this is what I have. This is what I'll be using to wipe on my hair. And I don't take the skin off, I rub with the skin on, okay? So. Okay, now that I have the uh, aloe vera plant ready, I'm just going to take my hair and just put it in like a little messy bun. Just get it all out the way. And put it in a, what I call a messy bun. Now, I'm not going to show you each and every time I do this. I'm going to do one or two, I'm going to do two sections and then I'm going to get it all cut off and then uh, come back before I put the plastic bag on. And then I uh, 
I put my uh, my gloves on because I have to preserve my nails. They break real easy, especially when you have natural hair. You always, especially if you're in your hair a lot, you use a, you use a lot of product, and that product is real softening. It's probably good to help the nails grow, but if you don't do anything to them as far as put nail polish on them, they get real soft. Okay, y'all, I was filming, but not filming, so let me show you what I was doing. That's what you call, that's what these new people do when they don't know what they're doing. Okay, so I take a little bit of hair down, and I spray it with the, some water around the, the, uh, the scalp area. I just want that area to be a little, it's not wet. And then I take a piece of the aloe vera plant, and then I just take it and rub it against my head. And it's gonna go down until it's, it's gonna hit, you're gonna feel it, because it's cold. And I just rub it all the way around, into the uh, scalp area of this plant. You know, I don't, I don't part it or anything. I just rub, rub, rub till I think it's coated. Not the hair, really. I'm really just central on the scalp. You can feel it. And then once it's all done, then I rub a lot, little bit on the ends. Ooh. It has a smell to it. That's probably why I wear the gloves. And then I just do a two-strand uh, two twist. Okay. And anything that you have left over from the aloe vera you know, you can... You can scrape it out of the uh, shell and blend it and make a hair thing, or you can use it for your skin. And then I do a two strand twist. So I've already done three. So this is basically what I'm gonna do for the rest of the hair. And when I come back, I'll be just about finished and I'll be showing you about the plastic bag. Okay guys, I'm finished. This is the uh, finished product. I don't know if you can see all the way around. It's just ch chunky twist. And then this is what I have left. I'll put this back in the refrigerator because when I finish washing and I put them in a big chunk, I'll put these, when I finish washing, I put them back in these big chunky twists as I moisturize and I also moisturize with the rest of this aloe vera gel plant. And, uh, and I'll show you that at the process afterwards. Then I'm going to put this uh, bag over my head and I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and then I'm just gonna wash it. And I'm not gonna show you the wash with it's just a regular wash routine. I just wanna sit this over. And then while it's in the bag, because the bag maintains the heat, I massage the bag. And so, because since I don't get under a uh, heater, a dryer, like they normally do to condition, I massage the bag to generate heat. You will see that's when there's heat, this, 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 this little film in the bag. But anyway. I do this, I don't massage for 30 minutes, don't get me wrong. I just massage for a few minutes just to get the heat going on the top of my head. And then, uh, and then I'll uh, wait for 30 minutes and then I'll wash it and I'll be back and show you how I uh, moisturize the um, chunky twist that I prepared before I break that chunky twist down into a uh, mini twist or semi mini twist. Okay, now, after all this massaging, it's just too, it's itchy because it's dirty. Dirty with a lot of product and of course the everyday dirt that flies in your hand sticks to your hair. You know, I haven't washed my hands in months. Anyway, I'm not gonna take that and roll with it. Anyway, uh, I'm still massaging. Now I'm gonna go and just wash my hair. And when I return, I'll show you my moisturizer routine that I'm gonna moisturize the hair with before I do the twist. Bye. Okay guys, so I uh, I just finished washing my hair. Scared to look under here. But anyway, it's probably all gray. Ooh, ooh. All right. It's a mess. All right. So, what I'm gonna moisturize my hair with, or oh, I wash my hair with this um, Suave Rosemary and uh, Mint. Uh, rosemary and mint. This is what I normally use. But sometimes I just use any shampoo, but I kind of like the way this one feels. It feels like it's actually tingling inside. And so I'll be using uh, the Blue Magic hair conditioner. A mixture of oils. Remember I told you in one of my hair videos that I mix a, a lot of bunch of the little oils that sell in the, uh, the hair store. I just take a lot of them and mix them up with some uh, uh, just all kind of little stuff. And then I'm gonna use the uh, shea butter. Okay, I got my brush and my comb and my aloe vera plant. The rest of them I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put that also on the scalp. 
hair clips, scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna take my hair tie and I'll tie it up. I, I'm gonna take a little bit. We're gonna do one in here in the, in the front. I just use my hand, just enough to make a part and I do the rest up. Put it back in like a bun. Gotta hurry up because you don't want this to dry. So I use a little bit of the bergamot, okay? A little bit of the uh, what is that? Oh, shea butter, a few drops of oil, and I mix those together. Rub it real good in my palm of my hand. And this is what I do to each section. I should get it all on there. And then I, I moisturize the hair. I just rub it down. Okay, and then I take the aloe vera juice, uh, gel and I just rub it just like I did when I, before I washed it. I just rub it in to the scalp. Just to get it in the scalp and then I do the ends. Okay, then I detangle. Okay, I have another set. Okay, now I have another section. I get my bergamot. Shea butter and the drops of oil, and I mix it real good. So it's all mixed up. Still, the shea butter sometimes takes a little bit to mix, okay? And then I just rub it all the way on, praying hands. You know, you see them do that on the videos, praying hands, okay? Make sure I get the ends. Then I take the aloe vera gel and I just, I'm just patting it on to the scalp area. I'm not parting or anything, I'm just patting it. Um, and I leave this on because remember it does smell but when I put the other products on to do the twist it'll overpower the smell Oops. okay then I detangle always at the ends and remember I'm going to get a lot of shedding because it's been about I want to say six months when I did an actual wash and I remember I told you I do rinse my hair through sometime while I'm in the shower I let the hot water run through it and wash a little bit of product out. I don't wash my hair that much because I'm lazy. This takes like two days, ouch. Okay. And remember, I'm gonna get a lot of shedding. Here's some more. This is just from two of them. Nasty. Okay. But it's been, and I got the spring. I let you know the hair is healthy. Got that spring. Then I just put the little chunky twist. Now I'm not going to do each and every one of these on camera. I just want to show you the first two. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my hair until I get them all in chunky twists and then I'll come back <clears throat> and show you my mini twists and coloring routine. Okay guys, so now I'm going to start the mini twist. Uh, I'll be using the uh, the Eco Styling Gel, whichever kind you have. The Murray's Beeswax. It, I probably use this. It's the Murray's Edge Wax. I use that for the twist. And for the color, I'll be using As I Am Pearl Color. Pearl Color in the Bold Gold. This is As I Am Bold Gold. And of course, my aloe vera paint. I, I continue to put this on until I run out. So even once the mini twister in and say down every three to four days, I'll moisturize them. I'll be using the rest of this plant. And when it's gone, I won't buy another one until it's time for me to do my uh, wash routine again. Okay. 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 Now I take the that color, that gold color, remember? And I just take that and I rub that all the way down. I just coat it, and at the end I do it more. But then I just see how that turns the color, and then I take it and I uh, twist. random hairs. But anyway, I just twist it all the way down. Okay. And like I said, I'm not going to finish this today. I may not finish today. Maybe tomorrow. But I'm not in a rush. That's why I always do my hair on the weekend when I have time. And I know I'm not going to be doing nothing. I can do half of it today and half of it tomorrow. Then I get down to the end. And I twist it with my fingers. And this is when I do my hair trim. And I just clip off the ends. It's just a clip off the end. 
then that's how I do the first twist, okay? I'll show that to you. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more, and then that's it. This one is gonna be too big, so I'm gonna take a little bit of hair off the top and pin it up. Cause they're not many, many twists, they're gonna get bigger. You know, as you continue to do twists, it seems like my twists get bigger because I get tired, so I just start making them bigger. I try to do them the same size. But anyway, here's my uh, aloe berry. I just do it on the edges and on the ends. Just to get that in there, okay? Then I do my mirrors. I keep saying mirrors. Edge control. And I just do that around the edge. Not the edge, but the over neat scalp. Just make it neat. Give it a more neater pin. And then, uh, okay. Then I take my uh, uh, echo and then the color. The color I just start it because where the gray at, I just rub it down. And as it dries, I put more and more until it gets to the color I want, okay? And then I twist. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you these here too like I do. And then uh, I'll be back uh, to show you the finished product. And... Uh, you how it looks that may be it'll probably be tomorrow but you'll, you'll see it all at one time in this video but it's going to be the next day then i twist at the end and then i do my clip this is when i trim my edges okay trim my ends okay okay that's the first two you can't really see the color right just yet uh, but once i finish product and then i go back in with the color and rounding the, the parts and then it dries, it'll get a little dark. And I'll see you guys at the end when I finish. Because I got a long way to go. Okay, guys, I finished the mini twist. Finished a lot faster than I thought. Okay, it's all the way around. And what I'll do is I'll put them in about seven chunky twists and stretch them with a the bobby pin. So it'll be like this. I'll take this and I'll, I'll cut it like this, chunky twist. Cause these are all mini twists here and then i'll take them and pull them back so in the morning when i take them loose they'll have a crinkle to it and then i can they'll stretch to make them longer right now they shrink because you know how natural hair do it shrinks uh, so this is it these are the mini twists i did it all myself uh, stay tuned for our future videos we'll be dropping some more items all you gotta do is answer the questions and thank you guys for hanging with me while i did a wash day and then next time, Shopaholics and all my new subscribers, stay out them stoves. Bye.